Right, everybody. We're back in the shop. Uh, messing with the 48. It's been a minute since I've been able to post anything. Uh, it's been kind of been kind of a rough month or two here. Um, stepdad passed away Memorial Weekend. So, been helping my mom deal with all that. We're going to be working on moving her in to our place. Um, so, we're going to get ready to do that. My wife and I are actually actively looking for a different place because she has to drive an hour and a half to work one way. So, we're wanting to try and get her closer to work. Try and get my mom closer to her hometown. It's just been a crazy mess. So, things might be a little hit and miss for me for a while this summer. But, I'm still trying to get some stuff done. The 48, the last time we were kind of on it, uh, we had done the fuel tank. A new fuel tank in between the frame rails on the back. I don't know if we can see it back here. Um, kind of. It's up in there. It's not the best as far as mounting, but I think it'll work. And I have got a brand new fuel gauge to go along with the new sinning unit in the tank. Um, the fuel gauge I had before was kind of hit and miss. It was a cheap, cheap fuel gauge. Now we got a little better one in here. And that dude right there. So it's nice and quiet. The other one, it ticked whenever you first fire it up. So, new fuel gauge has been installed, um, and one of the other times I was having troubles with the starter. This has got a small block Chevy. That's a 94 crate motor for a 94 Chevy truck. So it's a true 5.7 liter. But the transmission and flex plate we're out of, uh, what was it a Roadmaster? 94 Roadmaster, I think, or something like that. So it takes a special starter. Well, not special, but a different starter. So I had ordered in. We've been having troubles with the old starter whenever we'd go to town. And the engine was hot. It'd just click. It wouldn't want to turn over and start. So I had ordered in another starter to replace it. But I screwed up and forgot that the transmission and torque converter and flex plate were out of a Roadmaster instead of a Chevy truck, so it wouldn't work. So then I bought this cheap reflective heat blanket, and we wrapped around the starter under the truck, thinking maybe that would help. It did not. Um, it still, whenever I'd go to town, shut it off and come back out, if it was just a few minutes... The starter would just click so that relay was getting hot i would say um not relay you know what i'm talking about anyway it's been a long week so this was just a cheap ebay starter when i got it and so i broke down and got me a hopefully good starter i have the correct one now i've already put it on the truck they pretty much look identical, with the exception of, instead of, the, where this is kind of a brass color or gold color on this starter, it was silver for like stainless steel or just steel. Um, otherwise, everything looked identical. The new starter says Remy on it, has an actual sticker on it that says Remy. So, we got that put on. I'm going to keep this old starter as a backup if needed and so that's the plan now is i'm going to hopefully get this thing fired up i'll take it down and throw some gas in it as you can see on the gas gauge it didn't have a whole lot in it and let it run for a while nothing else i may just let it sit out here in the yard and idle let it get getting hot and we'll shut her off and see if she'll fire back up for me uh, for now, let's see if it'll even start with the new starter. Uh, we got one pumpy on the accelerator. I'll turn the key on. And 
let's see here. Let's do... Where's my stacks at? Here's my stacks. <laughs> cold nature yet. down get some fuel in it right ran the truck down to the station and back put fuel in it gas gauge is actually pretty darn accurate uh, it's a 25 gallon tank and I put I don't know probably five or six gallons or so in it um, and then I took it down to the station and I put exactly 10 gallons in it and so reading a little just a little over half there I don't know how much I may have put seven or eight gallons in it before so we're pretty close on the gas gauge at least I can trust it a lot more than I could before um, we're up to temp here pretty good so I'm gonna let this thing sit here and run just a little bit and I'll shut it off and we'll see if that new starter kicks in I'll let it set for probably 10 15 minutes and then come out and see if it'll start back up for me so I'll catch back up with y'all then. All right, truck's been sitting here for about 10 minutes or so. Temp gauge is still up there about 190. Let's see if she's gonna start with the new starter. Everything came on. Cooling fans came on. Well, she turns over. Fired up. Little bit of heat soak here on the carb I think but I might actually be able to trust this thing to take it to town again we will have to see all right thanks